Yellowstone blasts for an hour, volcano activity of steamboat geyser, and what does this mean? A few days ago, Yellowstone volcanoes steamboat geyser spat plumes of debris, boiling water, and steam for more than an hour this week, and it's a sign of increased activity, many say. This is by Sebastian Kelly of Express UK, and Steamboat Geyser erupting for the 19th time this year is resuming an unusual spate of high activity in the Yellowstone Volcano's Norris Basin. Geyser last erupted on Monday, September 17th. It clocked in at more than one hour and 15 minutes. Typically, the steamboat erupts. Eruptions last anywhere between three and 40 minutes. This one lasted well over an hour. And this year remains one of the most active on record for the steamboat geyser. Yellowstone's National Park officials say it's so hard to put into words how infectious the enthusiasm of a steamboat geyser eruption is. Laughing, crying, hugging, and cheering were almost non-stop during today's one hour and 15 minute eruption. Where are you there? Share your photos, videos, and stories. Steamboat geysers eruptions known to unexpectedly blast hot water up to an elevation of 91 meters, that's over 300 feet into the sky from a number of vents in the ground. The eruptions make Steamboat the tallest active geyser of the world. Only Waimangu geyser of New Zealand has been known to shoot water higher than that. Now, the U.S. National Park Service say that these eruptions are entirely unpredictable. Yellowstone geyser has been dormant for three years, and in 1993, since September 1st of 2014, when it roared back into life March 15th. And before that, the steamboat geyser erupted once, July 3rd, 2013, and again was silent for six years, and 162 days before that. The latest steamboat eruption came after the docile ear spring in Yellowstone Upper Geyser Basin blasted with hot water of about, a, a very low actually, it was only 30 feet into the sky. That was on Saturday, September 15th. Now the United States Geological Survey noted a number of changes are taking place in the Yellowstone geyser hotspot. The agency did not link the hydrothermal activity to any type of an increase in volcanic activity of the Yellowstone volcano. As we know, Yellowstone is a super volcano. USGS said shifts in hydrothermal systems occur only in the upper few hundred feet of the Earth's crust and are not directly related to moving magma which is several kilometers under that. There are no signs of impending volcano activity, they say. There's been no significant increase in seismicity nor broad scale variations in ground movement. Now, after the steamboat erupted three times in a row for the first time in 15 years, the USGS says it's well part of the geyser's natural cycle. USGS says at the time geysers are supposed to erupt, that's what they do. There's no other activity to suggest any future volcanic eruption. Yellowstone is behaving just like it should be behaving. Now the current alert level of Yellowstone is green, which means normal, meaning there is no unusual activity.